Hey everyone, it's Steph, and today I'm gonna give you a nice, fun, flowy yoga practice to warm up through our deep core line and get you started for your day. So we're gonna start in a nice seated position, sitting nice and tall here. I want you to bring one foot in front of the other. Placing the hands on the knees, we're just gonna start with a seated cat cow. So as I bring the chest down towards the mat, I'm gonna draw the shoulders back, and then as I exhale, I'm gonna round the shoulders up, lifting through my upper back. So here's our inhale, flowing down, and then exhale, rounding up. Let's do a couple more here before we add on, just rinsing out the back. You might also feel this in the hips, and the glutes, the inner thighs. And then the next one we're gonna add on. We're gonna inhale, draw the arms up through the center. As we exhale, we're gonna cross the ankles, pulling down fists of fire here, igniting that core line. Make sure we lift the chest. So same thing, inhale, draw the arms up. As we exhale, another option would be just placing the hands on the knees or maybe even keeping the toes down. But the whole purpose and goal here is to ignite our inner flame, our core strength. So inhale, drawing up, exhale. We're gonna do one more here. This time we're gonna exhale, holding it up. Inhale, draw the arms, exhale. So find your breath here. Maybe your ujjayi, that deep exhale down the back of the throat. So it's inhale, exhale. One more. And place those hands back behind. Bring the feet together. We're gonna press both feet out and in. So keeping that chest up again, fingers coming towards the toes. We inhale, pull everything in and up through the pelvic floor, through that deep core line, and exhale. One more. And just come back to seated. Reach across the body, over to the side. Inhale up, exhale. You should already start to feel your body warming up as we flow through our core poses. We're gonna do one more over to the side here and then coming back to center, bring the fingertips behind, draw the shoulders back, just looking up to the sky. And exhale, just gently walk the hands out in front, press back into the glutes and the sit bones, relax the head, the neck, the shoulders, we ground into the mat. Inhale, drawing back up. We're gonna transfer over onto our knees and hands for our cat cow. So making sure in alignment here, those wrists are under shoulders, knees are under hips. We also wanna spread those fingers nice and wide. So activate the fingertips, and then kind of this little crescent moon, the top of the palm and the bottom. So we have a little bit of arch between the thumb and the pointer finger. From here, we're gonna bend the elbows, draw the shoulders back, send that tailbone back, inhaling up for cow pose, and bend and round exhale for that cat pose. So just flowing here with the breath, working through the spine. The reason why we bend first in a lot of our poses is to lengthen the spine and decompress, allowing the energy to come up and out from the ground and not just from the joints. One more as we inhale up, exhale, round. From here, we're gonna tuck those toes and we're gonna find our downward facing dog. In our down dog, we wanna make sure we plug our shoulders in. So a lot of times people are reaching out, plug those shoulders back into the joints, ground into those hands again. And we want to keep the head in alignment with the neck. So we're gonna tuck the toes, activate that deep core line. So pull everything in and up through the pelvic floor, through the core, and then we can start to maybe walk the feet here and find our breath. So our feet are about hips width. We can keep our heels lifted, we're still warming up. We can also do a few little spinal rolls here, rolling the shoulders up and back to plug those shoulders in. From here, we're gonna work on what's called that core plank wave. So again, we're gonna bend the knees down towards the earth, then the elbows straight back. We're gonna lift the tailbone up to the sky, lift, 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 and as we roll it forward, really exaggerate lifting that upper back, we look out and offer the heart. So here we might feel like we're falling forward, but we're setting up that alignment for our chaturanga. We're gonna start by lowering the knees and just pressing back. We're gonna do a couple here, and then we'll move on to our chaturanga. So inhale, exhale, back to down dog. Inhale, bend down. Exhale, lift the tailbone, rolling it forward. Offer the heart. Exhale, bring the knees down. Let's do one more here. So inhale to that down dog. Setting up the feet, bend the knees and the elbows, lift the tailbone high, roll it forward, 
and lower to the knees. So we're now we're gonna add on our chaturanga from our knees. So the reason we do this core plank wave is to set up for a proper chaturanga. A lot of times when people do chaturanga, we're here, but our hands are really supposed to be right under our wrists. So in order to do that, we do this core plank forward. We can still lower from the knees, but here's really where our elbows and wrists should be. So we're coming back to that down dog. We're gonna inhale, bend down. Exhale, lift up. Roll it forward. From here, we're in our plank. Lower the knees, bring that pubis bone down first, so wrist and elbow stack, bring the chest down, bring the hands under the shoulders, lift for cobra, pulling the shoulders back. We can even do that little check here. Make sure we're using the proper muscles here. And then as we exhale, press it back to down dog. Let's do a couple more. Inhale, bending down. Exhale, lift and roll forward. From here, lower those knees, chaturanga, chest comes down. We can come it back into that cobra, or maybe we scoop all the way through to up dog, rolling those shoulders back, lifting and offering the heart center. From here, we can press back to the knees or tucking those toes, engaging the core, bring it back to down dog. We can add on from the feet if we want. So inhale, exhale, rolling forward, come to the knees, or maybe you wanna try it from the toes. Again, lower that chaturanga, inhale it up, exhale, bring it back. One more option here. This is a more advanced option. So feel free to stay with the knees or the one we just did. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, roll it forward. This time as we hover, we're gonna scoop through. Comes that up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a little break, a little breather. Lower the knees, come to child's pose, toes to touch. So your arms, shoulders should be activated here. It should be starting to really warm up through that core center, through the shoulders and the arms. Now we're gonna warm up through the legs and the lower body. So come back to that down dog. Take a few deep breaths here, plug those shoulders in. Maybe press the heels down if you can. Warm up the hamstrings. We're gonna inhale and send that right leg back. Same idea here, we're gonna bend the knees and the elbows. When we scoop the knee through, I really want you to lift that upper back. So we inhale, bend down. Exhale, lift, and then step that right foot through. We might also have to grab the foot with the hand to step it through, and that's okay. From here, roll the shoulders back, offering that heart center, and then taking the hands to the pelvis or the hip crease, crease here, we're gonna roll it up from the pelvis, drawing the shoulders up, take the arms up, and as we exhale, bring those hands down, fist to fire. Inhale, exhale. So really warming up through those legs and glutes here, the lower body, but everything's pulling in and up through that core line and center here as well. Let's do one more. Now this time drawing forward, rolling it up, reach the arms, exhale, throw it away. You can even do an exhale out the mouth here if you want. Whatever no longer serves you, get rid of it. One more, and bring those fingertips down. Step back to down dog, walk it out. Take a few breaths. Let's do that core plank wave here, bending the knees and the elbows, rolling it forward, lower chaturanga from the knees or the toes. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left side, inhale the left leg back behind the hip. Bend the knees and the elbows, scoop it through, lift that upper back, and step that left foot through. Again, grabbing the foot if we need to, roll out in front, open that heart center. Place the hands on the hip crease, draw up from the pelvis, rolling the shoulders back, take the arms up to the sky, inhale, reach, exhale, face the fire. So two more, activating heat in the lower body and the core center. One more, rolling it all the way forward, draw the arms up, exhale, throw it away. Just imagining any stress or baggage, releasing it from the shoulders, from the body, letting it go, bring the hands down, step back to down dog. Walking the feet in, come to a seated position on the mat. 
So you should be nice and warmed up, ready to go. Take on your day, activating that deep core line, the upper body, the core, the legs. Everything's feeling good and flowing. Have a great day. Namaste.